Hello, dear. Welcome to Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. I'm your host, Carl Brown. We're going to work on some venison recipes today. So don't go away. We'll be right back with Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Did you know that the family farm is endangered? Did you know that eating fresh and local food not only tastes better, they are healthier for you, and it actually helps conserve energy? My passion for preserving farmland, cooking, eating healthy, and supporting local farms and businesses caused me to create this show, Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Join us each week as we visit local farms by way of the culinary creations of chef host Carl Brown and other guest chefs. Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local will show you how to prepare easy, delicious, healthy meals using fresh and local ingredients. Join the Buy Local Challenge by tuning in to Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local and supporting your local farms and businesses. Remember, when you're cooking fresh, you're cooking local. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Welcome to Alternative Choices, your healthy alternative for foods, vitamins, herbs, and health practices. At Alternative Choices, we offer everything from quality supplements to children and pet products. Alternative Choices also offer nutritional counseling and will assist you in choosing the right kind of foods or nutritional supplements that will help you achieve your health-related goals. Feel like a kid again with Alternative Choices. 32 North Allison Street in downtown Greencastle. Health the way nature intended. Join the Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local, Buy Local Challenge by going to our website and enter to win a romantic, fresh and local dinner for two, catered by the Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local production crew. The deadline to enter is July 31st, 2008. The winner will be announced on the August 10th episode of Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Hello, I'm Meredith Poffenberger of Stonecrest Farms in Sharpsburg, Maryland. My husband has been farming all his life and truly enjoys producing healthy, high-quality beef for our family and our customers. Hi, my name is Maria and I had the good fortune to taste Stonecrest Farms All Natural Beef. I will say there is a huge difference within taste between a store-bought and Stonecrest beef. The Stonecrest beef, be it an all-natural beef, is very tender and delicious. You can really taste the difference. Stonecrest Farms beef is Maryland bred and fed for consistently tender, delicious beef. Stonecrest Farms beef can be ordered by calling us or visiting our website, stonecrestfarms.com. If you would like to be a sponsor, featured farm, or vineyard on Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local, please call or email our producer, Meredith, today. We are Byron's Dining Room at the Mercersburg Inn, 405 South Main Street, Mercersburg, PA. Elegant lodging, fine dining, weddings, social and business events, and restaurant seating. Open Thursday through Sunday, 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Reservations recommended. Give us a call today at 717-328-5231. This segment of Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local is brought to you by Valley Homes and Style Magazine. The recipes on today's show will be printed exclusively in Valley Homes and Style Magazine. To pick up a free copy, visit our website at www.homeandstyle.com or join the Valley Style Club and subscribe today for a discount at many of the Valley's best restaurants, services, and shops. Welcome back to Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Today we're going to work with some local venison that was provided by my good friend Eric Leeper from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. He does his hunting in the Allegheny Mountains. We're going to start first off with some butternut squash. We're going to roast that in the oven. So we're going to roast that at 350, and we're just going to salt and pepper our squash. Okay. A little bit of oil down on your pan. And that's going to roast for approximately about an hour. And what it's going to do is it's going to caramelize. It's going to bring out the natural sugars. It's going to have a, uh, almost a rust color to it when it comes back out. And it's going to be very sweet. Next we're going to do is we're going to work on our chilled Irish coffee tort. We're going to work to get that crust done. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, some crushed Oreo cookie crumbs, some Kahlua, sugar, and butter. And we're going to blend that all together. And then we're going to press that down into a springform pan. Add your butter, Kahlua, sugar, and blend that real well. Okay, and we'll put that down in our springform pan. Press that down real well. 
and that's going to bake for 10 minutes at 350. Okay, we're going to get started on our venison stew. We, uh, we're going to start off with some vegetable oil. Some bacon. And then you want to dredge your venison and flour. Okay, so dredge that real well. And then we're going to go add that to our pot. And we're going to brown the meat up. If you're not a deer hunter, you probably have a friend who is a deer hunter, and uh, people usually keep their deer meat frozen throughout the course of the year. So uh, if you don't have the option of going hunting, you probably have a friend that can donate some deer meat to you. Venison is a really wonderful product to work with. Uh, we look at it as being something seasonal, but uh, in reality, we can keep that frozen and used throughout the year. And this was actually a hind quarter that was donated to me. And from that, we're also going to do some venison medallions later on in the show. And we'll pair that with a brandied apple cranberry sauce. Okay, and we can, uh, we're browning our meat. And we're going to go ahead and add our vegetables. Okay, we'll add some celery. Onion. Garlic. Carrots and bay leaves. Go ahead and season that with some salt and pepper. Okay, and then what I have is basically it's a 15 bean mix. You can find this in the dried bean section of any grocery store. It's actually a combination of beans and peas, and uh, it's really a nice addition to a stew. So we'll add those. Those soaked overnight, and then you're just going to strain them out. Okay, and we're going to add some red wine to that. And we'll go ahead and cut some potatoes up. This is going to cook for about, um, about an hour and a half. Um, And it'll, when it's done, it'll be definitely fork tender. We're going to add some homemade beef stock. Okay, so and just enough liquid to cover all our ingredients. Okay. We'll give that a good stir. And then go ahead and cover that with the lid. And like I said, that'll be about an hour and a half. So we bring that to a, bring that to a boil and then go ahead and lower that down to a simmer. Uh, when we come back in a little bit, we're going to be working on with uh, some veal medallions. We're going to make our brandied apple raisin sauce and we'll go to the, next, the second phase of our dessert. So don't go away. We'll be right back with Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Welcome to Alternative Choices, your healthy alternative for foods, vitamins, herbs, and health practices. At Alternative Choices, we offer everything from quality supplements to children and pet products. Alternative Choices also offer nutritional counseling and will assist you in choosing the right kind of foods or nutritional supplements that will help you achieve your health-related goals. Feel like a kid again with Alternative Choices. 32 North Allison Street in downtown Greencastle. Health the way nature intended. Join the Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local, Buy Local Challenge by going to our website and enter to win a romantic, fresh, and local dinner for two, catered by the Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local production crew. The deadline to enter is July 31st, 2008. The winner will be announced on the August 10th episode of Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Hello, I'm Meredith Poffenberger of Stonecrest Farms in Sharpsburg, Maryland. 
My husband has been farming all his life and truly enjoys producing healthy, high-quality beef for our family and our customers. Hi, my name is John Ganano. I'm from Back Creek Bend Farm. The beef that we had tonight um, just uh, had a, a flavor that um, was, was much richer and stronger than uh, the, the store-bought beef. And aside from that, the, um, just the, sh the way that you know where the beef came from is an essential uh, part of uh, what you want to eat. Um, you want to eat something where you know where it came from. And that's the, uh, really, for me, the most important factor of uh, eating local beef. Stonecrest Farms beef is Maryland bred and fed for consistently tender, delicious beef. Stonecrest Farms beef can be ordered by calling us or visiting our website, stonecrestfarms.com. We are Byron's Dining Room at the Mercersburg Inn, 405 South Main Street, Mercersburg, PA. Elegant lodging, fine dining, weddings, social and business events, and restaurant seating. Open Thursday through Sunday, 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Reservations recommended. Give us a call today at 717-328-5231. This segment of Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local is brought to you by Valley Homes and Style Magazine. The recipes on today's show will be printed exclusively in Valley Homes and Style Magazine. To pick up a free copy, visit our website at www.homeandstyle.com or join the Valley Style Club and subscribe today for a discount at many of the Valley's best restaurants, services, and shops. Welcome back to Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. I'm your host, Carl Brown. We're going to go on to the second phase. <clears throat> of our Irish coffee tort. Uh, we let this cool to room temperature and now we're going to add some coffee ice cream. And you're just going to make sure that your ice cream is softened. And we're just going to spoon that on top. And we'll smooth that out. And that's going to go back in the freezer so that can set again. And later on I'll show you how we'll finish this dessert. Now we're going to move on to our venison medallions. We're going to go ahead and dredge those in flour. And as our butter's melting, we're going to go ahead and add our flour medallions. And we're going to brown those. These are going to cook up real quick. And we're going to do those in batches. And while those are sautéing, we're going to move on to our sauce. It's going to be a brandied, dried cranberry sauce. And we're going to go ahead and add some butter there. And we'll slice up our apple. It's basically in dime-sized chunks. I use a Granny Smith apple. And it's kind of got a sweet, sour kind of flavor to it. And then the sweetness of the cranberries is going to pair off really nicely with that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and saute our apples and dried cranberries and so the apples have softened a little bit. Give that a little stir. Add our dried cranberries. We're going to add some allspice. And some cinnamon. Stir up all your ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and flip our venison medallions over. We'll go ahead and dress some more in flour for our second batch. OK, 
Okay, and then once our medallions are finished, we'll just go ahead and put those off to the side and start our next batch. And to our apples and dried cranberry sauce, we're going to go ahead and add some brandy. You want to burn the alcohol off of that. You can do that in two different methods. You can just go ahead and let it reduce, or you can go ahead and flambe it. My preferred method. Okay. Once the flames have dissipated, we're going to go ahead and add some apple cider. And you can get local apple cider almost, almost year-round. Um, there's a lot of packing houses that still have plenty left over. And a lot of people also freeze their apple cider. So we're going to go ahead and add that. And we'll let that simmer. Once that comes to a simmer, almost to a boil, we're going to add what we call a slurry. And this is a combination of cornstarch and water. And that's going to be our thickener for our sauce. Okay, and then we want to add some sugar to that. Give that a good stir. Okay, and then we're checking our butternut squash. It's probably almost done. Like I said, it's going to caramelize for us, bring out the natural sugars. And in our next segment, we're going to go ahead and puree that. We're going to introduce some yellow and green wax beans into our dish. And we're going to finish with our stew. So we'll be right back in just a moment. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Welcome to Alternative Choices, your healthy alternative for foods, vitamins, herbs, and health practices. At Alternative Choices, we offer everything from quality supplements to children and pet products. Alternative Choices also offer nutritional counseling and will assist you in choosing the right kind of foods or nutritional supplements that will help you achieve your health-related goals. Feel like a kid again with Alternative Choices, 32 North Allison Street in downtown Greencastle. Health the way nature intended. Join the Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local by Local Challenge by going to our website and enter to win a romantic, fresh and local dinner for two, catered by the Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local production crew. The deadline to enter is July 31st, 2008. The winner will be announced on the August 10th episode of Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. If you would like to be a sponsor, featured farm, or vineyard on Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local, please call or email our producer, Meredith, today. Hello, I'm Meredith Poffenberger of Stonecrest Farms in Sharpsburg, Maryland. My husband has been farming all his life and truly enjoys producing healthy, high-quality beef for our family and our customers. Hi, I'm Reverend Delancey Catlett, and the store-bought uh, beef uh, had a good flavor, but uh, the home-raised uh, farm beef was excellent. It was tender, juicy, and had an excellent flavor to it. Stonecrest Farms beef is Maryland bred and fed for consistently tender, delicious beef. Stonecrest Farms beef can be ordered by calling us or visiting our website, stonecrestfarms.com. We are Byron's Dining Room at the Mercersburg Inn, 405 South Main Street, Mercersburg, PA. Elegant lodging, fine dining, weddings, social and business events, and restaurant seating. Open Thursday through Sunday, 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Reservations recommended. Give us a call today at 717-328-5231.
This segment of Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local is brought to you by Valley Homes and Style Magazine. The recipes on today's show will be printed exclusively in Valley Homes and Style Magazine. To pick up a free copy, visit our website at www.homeandstyle.com or join the Valley Style Club and subscribe today for a discount at many of the Valley's best restaurants, services, and shops. Welcome back to Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. This week we're featuring local venison. Our venison stew is just about ready. Wow, that's got some great smell. Uh, we're going to plate that up shortly. We're going to move on to our butternut squash that we roasted in the oven for about an hour, 350. As you can see, well, it looks like it's burnt. It's not really burnt. It's what we call caramelized. The natural sugars of the squash have come out. And so it's, it's going to be a, a, a lot sweeter than if you just boiled your squash. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spoon that out. And you want to do that while it's still warm. If you need to use a cloth or something to hold it, keep yourself from burning. Okay. Make sure you get all those little nice brown bits. That's where all that sugar is going to be. Okay. We're going to put that in a food processor. And we're going to put a little pat of butter in there, some salt, a little pepper. And butternut squash pairs off very nicely with nutmeg, so we'll put a little nutmeg in there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and process that. And that'll be our whipped butternut squash puree. Okay, we're going to move on. And we've got some yellow and green wax beans. We're going to saute that in a little bit of olive oil with some garlic. And some salt and pepper. Cook that with the fats. That'll help seal in the flavor. And then to that, we're going to add some water and we're going to go ahead and steam that. And we'll cover that with a lid. Okay, so we've got our butternut squash puree. We've got our brandied apple dried cranberry sauce, which we're going to pair with our sauteed venison medallions. And as soon as our beans are finished, we'll go ahead and plate that up. Right now, we'll go ahead and see how our stew did. That turned out great. You want to just make sure that the, the, the legumes that you put in here, the beans and the peas and everything, have all were cooked thoroughly. Um, the venison, in this case, actually cooked faster than the beans. This will be a nice hearty dish in the fall. And that's going to go really well with a nice glass of red wine. And we've got some local red wine that we'll tell you about in a little bit. And that'll be our venison stew. Okay, sure, we're going to go ahead and work on our chilled Irish coffee tort. We're going to finish that. What we did was <clears throat> we made a whipped cream flavored with coffee some Irish whiskey and some sugar. And we go ahead and we put that in a little pastry bag. We're gonna go ahead and pipe that in just a moment. Okay, we're gonna plate our venison now. And as I said, we paired that with a brandied apple and dried cranberry sauce. Let's see if our beans are ready. Yep. Go ahead and lay some beans down there first.
And then we're just going to drape in layers our venison over top of each other like that. And we'll spoon our sauce on top of that. And we'll add our butternut puree. And that'll be our veal venison medallions. We're going to go ahead and finish up our, our chilled Irish coffee tort. Okay, that we put back in the freezer, so that's nice and set. And as I said, we made a, a whipped cream flavored with some Irish whiskey some sugar. We're just going to pipe that around our tort. You know, it's nice to add as a little strawberry for color, so we'll find a strawberry after that. This actually makes a fantastic birthday cake and of course just Just for any kind of dessert involving ice cream, it's a, it's a showstopper. Okay, both of our venison dishes, our stew and our medallions, pair very well. We have a nice deep creek artisan red to pair off with that. And uh, don't go away, we'll be right back in just a moment with Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local. Welcome to Alternative Choices, your healthy alternative for foods, vitamins, herbs, and health practices. At Alternative Choices, we offer everything from quality supplements to children and pet products. Alternative Choices also offer nutritional counseling and will assist you in choosing the right kind of foods or nutritional supplements that will help you achieve your health-related goals. Feel like a kid again with Alternative Choices. 32 North Allison Street in downtown Greencastle. Health the way nature intended. The Washington County Rural Heritage Museum contains over 2,500 artifacts honoring Washington County's agricultural history. Step back in time and see for yourself the time-honored value of agriculture at the Rural Heritage Museum on Sharpsburg Pike in Boonesboro, Maryland. Open Saturdays and Sundays or by appointment. If you would like to be a sponsor, featured farm, or vineyard on Cooking Fresh, Cooking Local, please call or email our producer Meredith today. We are Byron's Dining Room at the Mercersburg Inn, 405 South Main Street, Mercersburg, PA. Elegant lodging, fine dining, weddings, social and business events, and restaurant seating. Open Thursday through Sunday, 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Reservations recommended. Give us a call today at 717-328-5231. 